Have you tried to get different results on your screen just by clicking on the tabs using Excel? Yeah, like the options in Excel, but more like custom made for you. It might take a while for you to start, but once you do, there is no going back. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. Here we have arranged different data set for English Premier League, Bundesliga and Serie A. As you can see, English Premier League is within column B to column G, Bundesliga is from column I to column N and Serie A is from column P to column U. Now we will compile these data sets within a short template and learn how to create tabs within tabs in Excel. We will discuss 6 steps using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here we will add tabs within this blank area so that each tab clicking gets us one data set at a time up to our choice of tab selection. Now let's insert the tabs. Go to insert tab and from the illustrations group click on shapes drop down. Here choose rectangles with rounded corners. Let's go along with choosing this one. Now we can see that we have a new tab with the name of shape format. Resize and modify the shape according to your requirements. Let's go to size group and let's select height as 0 0.3 and width as 1.46. Now from the shape styles group, click on the drop down and let's go along with this shape and let's choose shape outline as no outline. Now let's copy the shape using control and shift key. We will copy it by holding both of the keys together. Now select all of them using control key and from the align group click on align bottom and distribute horizontally. Now let's type the league names here English Premier Bundesliga and Serie A. Let's change their format to bold, a larger font say 12 and center middle aligned repeat the same process for all of them with them bold larger font center middle aligned now it looks better right now let's copy the three of them first select all of them using control key and using control and shift key copy three of them beside and for these shapes, go to Shape Format tab and from the Shape Styles drop down, click on this one. And from the Shape Outline drop down, choose No Outline. Now we will add names for all of these shapes using the name box beside Formula Bar. Let's go along with this one first. Let's name it EPO On. Enter. This one will be Bunt on, Siri on, and this one's will be the same, just on will be off. So EPL off. Make sure to press the Enter key so that the names are properly set. Bunt off, and finally Siri off. Now, if you want to check the names of the shapes we can just select all of them using control key now let's go to page layout tab and from the arrange group click on selection pane now we can see we get a separate section on the right side of our screen and the six shapes are selected according to the names we set using the name box before now we can change the names from here as well let's close it Deselect all of them. Now go to selection pane again and select EPL on. Press control key and select EPL off. And from the align drop down, 
choose align left. Now for Bundesliga, press control key and Bundesliga on and off. Repeat the process. Now for Siri on and Siri off, align left. Now we can see that the shapes are overlapping each other. Now we will create a VBA code to enable the tab selection. Now let's go to home tab, close the selection pane. To create a VBA code, we need to go to the developer tab first. If you don't have this tab, you need to right click on the ribbon and click on customize the ribbon. From here, you need to make sure that this box for developer is checked. If it's not, you need to enable it, then OK, and you should have your developer tab here. This tab helps us to write macro codes, use XML commands, ActiveX controls, and some actions via Microsoft Visio. Now from the code group, choose Visual Basic, or you can go along with Alter F11 keyboard shortcut, and it gets us the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Let's fit this. Now we will insert a module. For that, go to Insert tab and click on Module. You can choose Alter IM to insert module as well. Here we will copy a code with three sub procedures. Here, Tab E is for English Premier League, Tab B is for Bundesliga, and Tab S is for Serie A. We have copied the code from the article that has been linked below the description box below. Within the code, the shapes.visible property defines the color of the tabs according to their status of being selected or not selected. Range.entire column property is to hide columns or not. When the sub is tab A, it will not hide column B to G, but will hide column H to you, so B to G will be visible if tab E is enabled and rest of the columns will not be visible. Same goes for tab B which will show I to N which means the Bundesliga dataset and rest of the columns which is B to H and O to U will remain hidden and tab S will show P to U and keep B to O columns hidden. Now let's save the code and close the window. Now we will assign VBA code with tab. From the page level tab, arrange group, click on selection pane. As we get our selection section on the right side of our screen, let's choose the aligned shapes of the same league for on and off using control key. Let's go along with EPL off and EPL on. Right click on the shape and from the context menu click on assign macro. Let's move the window here and choose tab E for EPL. Ok, now repeat the same process for bunt on and bunt off. Right click on the shape, assign macro, now tab B. Ok, and for Siri off and Siri on, the macro will be tab S. Ok. Now let's close the selection section and now we will compile all the tabs. Go to insert tab and from the illustrations group choose shapes drop down and let's go along with rectangles and place the rectangle here on here till this shape. And from the shape format tab, click on shape fill drop down and choose no fill. And as shape outline, let's go along with this color. We have placed it around the lake score chart. Now we will select all the shapes. We can go to page layout tab and selection pane. Use control key to select all of them. It includes our title and the rectangle shape along with our six tabs added within the macro. Now right click on them and from the context menu choose size and properties. And here we get the format shape section on the right side of our screen. Click on properties drop down. And here choose don't move or size with cells. Let's close this section. Now if we select one of them. 
we can see that English Premier tab has changed its color and we can see the English Premier League table as well. And now we can see the Bundesliga chart. Same goes for Serie A. Using this elaborate steps, you can also create tabs within tabs in Excel. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.